we are in a time of acceleration. It's a do or die kind of situation for humanity right now. And um, I don't mean to get all doom and gloom or anything, but you guys look around you. You can see how things <laughs> things are going. It's like people who are not um, taking their sovereignty, not not standing up for themselves and protecting their children. And you know what I mean? Doing what they know in their heart is the right thing to do. They're paying the price very quickly. It's not 10 years down the road. It's six months down the road or six days down the road. Okay. Or maybe even six hours, depending on what it is. So humanity is really getting uh, challenged uh, with our feet to the fire. Now it's like up until I'd say up until uh, 2020, it was all practice for those of us who've been here for a few decades we've had lots of practice now it's now it's where it's for real shit's getting real right and our young ones the the younger ones the 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 millennials and you know the ones in the um in the younger generations they've come in already encoded with things so they um they have a leg up because of all the other uh, previous work that has been done so their encodements kind of unfold within them and then we can quite literally unify in the same direction. They pretty much are hitting the ground running. It's still trial by fire. There's there's not a lot of um, wiggle room here. You know, you follow what's right inside of you or, you know, things will go sideways very quickly. This is my observation. I'm watching people's lives crash and burn, crash and burn fast. OK, and maybe you have a couple choice you know a couple choice points came until you reach that point of crashing and burning but it's not more than a few choice points it's not like you get 20 years of choice points and then you crash and burn or 10 years of choice points and then you crash and burn no i'm talking months here the crash and burn happens within months of making those decisions um that that were against who you really are or against your truth you know so keep with it. I know the collective is going crazy right now and there's a lot of doom and gloom and fear and blah, 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 blah. But listen, they need to keep us, they need to keep us in that fear state so we are distracted. So we don't realize just how much of the veils have lifted and just how expanded our consciousness is actually be because Lord forbid we actually reclaim our sovereignty and our responsibility and our true abilities that we have as multidimensional humans. Because as soon as we do that on a collective level, it's game over for the power over dynamics. It's game over. They no longer have dominion over you. They no longer have dominion over the collective of us. Now they're going to dominate over the ones that they can till the very end. So we're not going to see it gone for, for quite some time because there's still beings that are invested in it. But what's going to happen is that as beings expire, if they are really heavy and dark, or um, maybe another way to say it, all right. Now I know karma is a construct and it's not, it's not necessarily, it's not a law or anything. It's not a universal law, but a lot of people still abide by the idea of karma. So if people are um, leaving their bodies with a lot of darkness or a lot of heaviness, AKA a lot of karma, you know, they're not going to be, they're not going to be a frequency match to this planet and they're not going to be able to come back to this planet. They'll have to reincarnate somewhere else in the galaxy. That's a frequency match for them. So for those of us who are leaving our bodies and we have and we're very light and we're very clear, now we're going to be a frequency match. So we have the choice of coming back to this place. And of course, we'll also have the choice to go any place that's a frequency match. OK, so so this there's like a, um, a siphoning off that's happening. A lot of the dark ones are expiring and they're not able to come back. So there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of infiltration, a lot of darkness, not just within our human race, but also in the in the interdimensional realms of our planet and the moon, you know, so there's a lot to purge. So I imagine this purging is going to go on for a few decades, but it is going to reach its end. It is going to reach a place where it can't continue because there'll be no one here to embody that darkness. There'll be no one here that has a, that, that contract, that soul contract to remain enslaved to the power over. Okay. 